thing of more for my Jeep is, I believe, uh, two. Maybe Wednesday, I'm not sure. And good morning, it's my Jeep update. And it's Tuesday the 5th, June 5th. And I just made my uh, adjustment on the backlash. And uh, I went from, I really wasn't showing any backlash at all. I had five and a half to six before I put this thing back together. Anyway, I checked it about six different places and I was uh, showing eight to nine thousandths. Uh, specs call for six to ten, so I should be fine. Uh, and what I did, uh, I took six thousandths out of the uh, that side, the left side, the ring gear side, and I put it over here on this side. And it went from nothing to uh, about eight, I'd say eight, eight and a half is the average, which is pretty good. Anyway, there's my latest pattern I just ran. Now that's the, that is the uh, drive side. Okay, and that's the coast side. I'm not sure if this light and shadow, if that's going to show accurately. Let me move the light, get the light back over here. Anyway, that's the drive side. Excuse me, coast side. And I'm going to send that in the Yukon and see what they say. I went ahead, you know, I had to pull the axles out to get the, I had to remove the uh, ring gear. Uh, it was so tight in there, I I couldn't make any uh, shim change. So uh, what I'm gonna do, since I got the axles, they're just partially out where they're not making contact with the with the gears. I'm gonna go ahead recheck my preload and see if it's still in the pod. That's my deep out. Okay, I've been working most of the day on this thing. It's really been beating me up. I've had it in and out, trying to get my backlash right before I did the pattern. And uh, anyway, I finally, I, several times it was either too loose or too tight. I kept making shim adjustments. And I finally got it to where in about four different places they showed about eight. And that's the, I think the best on backlash. Anyway, we're going to do a short pattern here uh, before I close up for tonight. My deep out. Okay, there's my latest pattern. It don't look too deep. I don't know how good it is, but it uh, looks better than some. I don't know if I'm gonna change anything because this thing, if it makes some noise and the way Yukon talk, once you drive a couple miles on it, that's more than a mile, it's probably gonna make some noise now. Uh, as long as it lasts for a while, if it uh, starts howling and making noises again, I'll go back into it. And that's the uh, coast side. I'm not really sure about that either. I'll do a little more research, but I think I'm going to button this thing up and go with it. I'll uh, go through the checks again, check my preload, check everything before I button it up and uh, see what happens.